What's up soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPot.com Vibes in up in the kitchen as usual. Have you guys checked out that new community we have? We have about almost 300 people already on there chatting and sharing ideas and all kind of thing. CaribbeanPot.com slash community, you're invited. Meet Free Monday, after teasing this one here on on Instagram, I think it was. Instagram at CaribbeanPot, if you know, you know now. Vegans, vegetarians, gluten free, I tell everybody gonna like this one. Now, all they hearing vegan, all they thinking, wait, they have to be lame. All catch all yourself, eh? I don't have lame food. No, Caribbean people don't have lame food. Alu choka, or some of you may just call it spicy garlic potatoes. You're gonna love this one, man. Community, CaribbeanPod.com slash community. Vibes it up, alright? You are probably wondering why it is Uncle Chris has such a big pot with a little bit of potato on there. That is for me to be able to better show you what's going on. In a nice big pot here, I have three pounds of potato. Use your favorite potato. It just so happened my favorite is Yukon Gold. High heat, covered with water. There's about an inch above the potato with water. And the first thing we're going to do, bring that up to a boil, but we need some salt in there. We're going to bring that up to a boil. Reduce it to a rolling boil and allow it to cook for about 15-20 minutes until the potatoes are fully cooked all the way through nice and soft. In the meanwhile, let's jump over there now. You all know I like using my mortar and pestle, so any opportunity to use it. We've got some garlic hiding back there. And that is the last of my garlic from Spain. You want a nice, lovely flavored garlic. Just gonna give it a rough, rough chop. Four big cloves of garlic. Yo, I've said it before. You see that Chinese garlic, man? That thing is lame for spice. Try and avoid using that. The cheap, <laughs> but that's about it. More salt. I'm gonna use it as an abrasive, almost. We've got Scotch bonnet pepper, and I sliced one open just to show you guys. Um, wear gloves, eh? And wash your hands with soap and water after. But if you wanted to control the heat a bit, you see the seeds and the white sort of membrane surrounding the seeds. We've talked about this before. That is where most of that heat is going to be. I man want that heat. It's totally up to you. This is supposed to be sp garlicky, spicy. Yo, that is what choker is about, you know. So what we're going to do now is crush that. That's a combination between this and that. Don't, don't get tired. We're going to crush that until it's smooth and we have a lovely paste. But remember, soap and water, please and thanks. You're gonna thank me because you touched the wrong place and papa, fire you. Now you notice the rolling boil that we had going there? So it's been about 20 minutes. You will take a sharp paring knife, go through the thickest part, well, the thickest potato down the center and once there's no resistance it means it's fully cooked what we're going to do now is drain that it's nice and steamy there now you will notice that i put the pot directly onto the stone counter here if you have a wood or whatever sort of counter make sure you put something to prevent the heat from warping your counter i'm going old school you can use a potato masher but i have what we call a ponga or pounder or a, a pestle wooden this was given to me about i think my mom brought this back from Trinidad and tobago about at least 25 years ago so this thing is a classic it's a relic kind of classic and all we want to do is crush the potatoes until there's no more lumps so it will take a couple minutes using a potato masher i'm certainly i'm certain you can get it done faster because it's going to be wider but all i'm doing and this is why i use the big pot be able to better show you what's going on here so it's gonna take a couple minutes as I said so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get to adding the other elements to the dish so everything is nice and crushed here and here so I'm just gonna scrape this off we're gonna scrape off any of the remaining potato on the ponga or pounder, whatever you want to call it, or pestle. Now we're going to scrape all of that niceness here. And remember, this is going to be spicy, eh? so make it as tolerable, tolerable as you can have. Right. 
apologize for the noise here, the scraping, because everybody always, oh gosh, why he ain't using a wooden spoon? Yeah, this is my show, eh? Catch all this off. So we've got that in there. Next up, thinly sliced onion. And I'm putting everything in the center here for a reason. We're gonna chunk of this. Chunky means we're gonna heat some oil and we're gonna pour it directly on here. So these are the sort of the traditional way. The non-traditional thing I'm gonna add to this, I went to the backyard in my garden and I got some fresh chives. And I'm gonna add all that chives in there. Yeah, it's fall, but there's still some stuff going on in the garden there. And I'm just gonna spread it apart a little bit so when I pour the hot oil on there, the hot oil will sort of lightly cook and temper all those flavors so you'll get the pepper the garlic the onions the chives everything throughout the entire dish so what i have here is three tablespoons of olive oil heating up once it comes you start seeing whispers of smoke we're going to use that to pour it on here and that sort of step we've talked about before is called chunky And it may seem like a lot of oil, but that potato will just suck everything in there. And we want it to be somewhat moist. So if you want to add some butter in there, you can certainly do that. And all you would do now is give that a proper mix. No kind of lame mix, a proper mix. Please listen to Uncle Chris. We want that garlic and pepper and onions and everybody just is a merriment up in here, you know? Give that a good little mixy mix, as I said. Oh my God, Chris got a wooden spoon. Where did he get that from? And you guys think I roll in soft or what? Anyhow, alu choka, nice spicy garlicky and the thin threads of that onion in there. That is why it's key that the onions are nice and thin. Nobody, now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, you've, your breath will have a particular vamp to it. So please, get your dentine and wrigglies and everything out of your meeting up with your special person after, all right? I'm just saying. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. It was a pleasure having you guys in the kitchen with me. Vegan, vegetarians, I tell. Meat Free Monday. You can't, you know, you can't go wrong. Alu choka. You need some roti, some fry, bake. I mean, it's if you want to eat it with a steak, do your thing. It's like garlic potatoes, but on steroids. Irie, Irie.